Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the black powder editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make your own felt cap and ball revolver wads. Oxyoke Wonder Wads are great, but they are not cheap. So if you can make wads just as good for a fraction of the cost yourself, why not do it? Well, the first thing we have to do is mix up some black powder lube. And I make my lube out of two components. The first is beeswax, and these are beeswax pearls. This is a pound of them. I get this from uh, a beekeeping supply house, Man Lake Limited. Any form of beeswax will do just fine. I like these pearls because they melt up easier. So, a pound of those, and then we've got two pounds of lamb tallow. Now, this stuff can be a little bit hard to come by. Uh, I got this from U.S. Wellness Meats, which you can find on the internet. Uh, Dixie Gun Works also sells lamb's tallow. The trick is it's seasonal. So you've really got to check any source that sells it uh, to see if they have any in stock, because it really depends on whether or not somebody's slaughtering lambs. Now, springtime is usually the best time to get lamb's tallow because lamb is a popular Easter dish. So people are slaughtering lambs and of course lamb's tallow is a byproduct of that. Uh, I generally do mix the two pounds of lamb's tallow to one, one pound of beeswax and I'll melt that up in, uh, in a microwave oven. Now because of the container I'm using, which is not gigantic, I've been using the same thing for about 20 years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt up uh, a half batch at a time. So I'm going to measure that stuff out, and then we'll get it going. It's eight ounces of uh, our beeswax pearls ready to go. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to microwave the lamb's tallow and get that melted down. When that's melted, I'll add the beeswax to it. Now what we're actually going to use for the wad material itself is this one-eighth of an inch pure wool felt. And this is sold by a company called Durafelt, and uh, they're on the internet, they're easy to find. And what you want is the white pure wool felt, and it'll either be called heavy felt or stiff felt. Uh, this has nothing in it but wool. Now, you buy it by the yard, and believe me, you'll get a lot of wads off of a yard. This little piece I just cut off here will probably give two or three hundred forty-four caliber wads. Well, the lamb's tallow is all melted. I'm going to get it out of the microwave now and we'll add the beeswax pearls to it. Well, here's our melted lamb's tallow. And we're going to add now the 8 ounces of beeswax pearls. This is one of the reasons why I like using these pearls is because they mix up really well, unlike a solid lump of, uh, of beeswax. Now, that, that is going to have to go back in the microwave so that everything gets melted up. Alright, our lube is all melted up, so now it's time to take the next step. We've got our felt. I'm going to drop it in this tin, and we're going to pour the lube on it and soak it. Now, i got to tell you, whatever gear you use for this whole process, you better be willing to dedicate it just to this process, because you're never going to be cooking with this again. There we go. Okay. Now, we're soaking, uh, we're soaking that up. And that is pretty much all we've got to do. I'm going to pull that out. Let it drip. And then I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry, and then we'll, we'll knock some wads out of it. And the final step in the process is to actually punch out the wads themselves. So, get out a wad punch. Uh, I'll just show you. I've got three punches I use pretty routinely. This one is for my 20 gauge flintlock fouling piece. And then we've got a 38 caliber one for uh, 36 caliber navies and whatnot. And then the 44, 45 caliber one. Now, 
you can get these uh, these punches from Track of the Wolf or Dixie or most anybody. Or you could really just go buy a hollow punch set, but get a good one if, if you do. So it's pretty simple. We got a hollow punch, got a hammer, and we are just going to uh, knock some of these out. Just take a look at those. As you can see, we're going to get quite a few off of this. All right, so here we go. All right, who needs to who needs to buy them? And they're very easy to make. These are lubed up. They'll work just like oxy oak. And you got the the fun of doing them yourself. So let's take them out and load them up and shoot some cap and ball with them. You know, there's not much new under the sun. I mean, essentially, the same technique I just showed you that I thought I stumbled over myself uh, is all laid out in Elmer Keith's book, Six Guns, in the Cap and Ball chapter. Uh, this book came out in 1961 when I was just a kid. I owned a copy in the 70s and let it slip away. And luckily, it's back in print now. And, uh, you know, amazingly, for a book that's 50 years old, it, it holds up pretty well. Um, and, and the cap and ball chapter alone is worth the price of admission. So you can get it from Amazon, but I'm going to give you another website that you can order it from. The price is the same, but uh, if you go this route, the, the Keith family gets a little bit more of the income from it. Well, our wads are all made, and of course the only reason to make them is to shoot them. So let's go load up a gun and uh, see if they come out the right end. Well, we've got an Uberti 1860 Army revolver, and we're going to load it up. Uh, we've got GoX 3F powder in here. We're using Remington number 10 caps in this Ted Cash capper that you've seen before. We've got the wads that we just punched out. And some 454 cast balls. So let's get this baby loaded. Start off with a powder charge. I'm going to use this measure 30 grain charge. Get it nice and full. Got a half cock and pour in a charge. Beautiful. All right, now we get to take one of our wads and we're going to seat it in. Now, <clears throat> you know, I like to get these things started with my big pen. And now we're going to take a 454 ball, he said. If I can get it out and lay it on there. Let me find the sprue. There we go. Just like to do sprue up. Now let me get that baby in. Close enough for government work. And ram her home. So there we go. We're going to do that five times, cap it, and Go light up Evil Roy. So we've got all five uh, chambers loaded. We're going to keep one empty for safety's sake. And now we're going to cap it. And as most of you know, I like using this Ted Cash capper. Uh, it holds about 100, about 100 rounds, about 100 caps, I mean. Now also, as I've showed you before, I like to give them a little push with, with a dowel to make sure they're fully seated. Um, and we're going to do this five times, and then we're going to go shoot Evil Roy. Evil Roy is lurking 15 yards downrange. And we've got the Uberti 1860 Army loaded with our homemade felt wads. So let's see if we can whack them a little bit. <laughs> a 
Well, they all came out the other end. That's what we like to see.